Welcome to No Paint, No Gains, I'm Ray. In this episode, I'll share how I saved money by magnetizing my Mortark units for my Soul Blight Gravelords army. If you're new to tabletop war games and Age of Sigmar especially, then you're quickly learning that this is not a cheap hobby. With single models costing over $100, it's important to be concise when purchasing units for your army and finding ways to reduce excess spending when possible. A great way to do so is by magnetizing models to allow for versatility in your army without spending any extra cash. Today, I'll share how I magnetize my Mortarks for my Soulblight Gravelords army. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the tools you will need for this project. The first step is assembling the mount. You want to follow the instructions up until the section where you assemble and attach the head, but it's important that you do not actually glue the head in place. From there, you'll want to assemble the individual Mortarks as instructed, but stop at the step where you attach the saddle to each Mortark. You want to keep them separate as it will make it much easier to magnetize them later on. With all the necessary pieces built, we can start the actual magnetization process. I'll start by magnetizing the area on the mount where the saddles of the Mortarks will actually attach to. This step is really easy as there's a built-in indentation already in the model where the magnet can sit in. For my model, I decided to roll up some green stuff which I placed in the small cavity and press the magnet into. If you don't own some green stuff, you could simply super glue the magnet in place. Next I want to talk about where the head attachments are going to be. If you look at the model, you'll notice that there's a circular protrusion pointing out of it that fits into a small cavity in each individual head. You'll want to cut that circular protrusion off and create a flat surface. From there, you'll use your hand drill to create a small cavity where you can place the magnet. Be careful during this step as you don't want to drill too deep and accidentally damage the model. Since the heads already have an indentation on them, all you need to do is super glue the magnets in place. Make sure to test the polarity of the magnets before gluing them to ensure they're facing the correct way. For the riders, you have to remove the circular peg protruding from the saddles and create a small hole for the magnets to sit into. To accomplish this, use your hobby knife or pliers to remove the peg and clean the area to make it as flat as possible. Then, using your hand drill, carefully begin to drill into the center of the saddle to make the hole for the magnet. Make sure to dry fit your magnet periodically as you drill to make sure you don't make the hole too deep. You want the magnet to sit flush with the surrounding area. Once you have a hole of the correct size and depth, you can add some super glue and place your magnet. You can then attach the riders to their respective saddles. With this final step, you're done. Now in a matter of seconds, you can swap riders as needed for your games, and thanks to the small powerful magnets, you don't need to worry about them falling off. That's it for this one guys, thank you for sticking around, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you found the video useful, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Look at all the great content you are missing out on.